bending uh, music wire like this uh, can be a bit difficult. It's pretty springy and you have to, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to bend and you have to over bend it to get it to retain its shape, it seems like. Uh, I first had an interest in bending this stuff um, for a little RC car uh, that I wanted to change the suspension on it to work with a, what's called a torsion wire suspension. And uh, so I had experimented around a little bit and uh, came up with some pretty simple tools that let me do that. Uh, one of the concerns here is, of course, that it has to be a pretty, the end, <clears throat> the end shape has to be pretty specific to fit these pre-drilled holes and so forth. So that pretty much dictated that I needed a jig to do that. So I made this little jig here. Uh, it's just a piece of wood with some nails driven in it, very carefully measured out for the position. Cut the nails off and used a belt sander to grind them down fairly smooth. And these are the resulting shape that I want to have. Actually, for me, it goes like this. Uh, to bend this wire, there's a few things that you can use. Um, I like these little dental pliers. They have, uh, as you can see, a pretty uh, specific shape on the end where you can bend different diameter wires. And the jaws are pretty short, so you can put a lot of stress on them, which is sometimes necessary for music wire. This music wire, by the way, is about 32,000 inches in diameter which seems to be about right. These were like 12 bucks on eBay, <clears throat> not very expensive. Um, you probably can use uh, needle nose pliers. They, uh, it's not going to give you as perfect a round shape on the end. And uh, these jaws being longer, a little bit weaker on the end, but they're still beefy enough. They probably would bend that stuff just fine. So I'll, uh, in, in the later part of this video, I'll show you exactly the procedure I used, but uh, this was another tool that I made specifically to do this. Uh, it's a piece of 5 16 inch uh, steel, round steel, and it has a hole drilled on one side that fits over these nails. And on the other side, I, I, I drilled and tapped a 256 uh, threaded hole and put in a, uh, a set screw, which sticks out. You could probably just lock tight a, a piece of steel rod in there instead of trying to thread it. I used a threaded insert or threaded uh, set screw because I thought the threads might kind of hold the wire a little bit, grip the wire and keep it from um, slipping off the end when you were twisting it. So these are the tools I used. Uh, now I'll go ahead and show you uh, uh, how I bent this piece of wire here. So the first thing I did was use these little uh, wire bending pliers to form this uh, loop on the end. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, I didn't show that process because it turns out that the, the uh, form on the end of this thing is just a little bit small and I had to bend that and then widen this hole a little bit to fit over my jig. But you can do that with needle nose pliers as well. Uh, it just won't give you quite as nice of a circle, but pretty much anybody knows that how to bend a loop on the end of that wire um, like that. Next thing you do is take this jig and you fit the uh, loop over that last peg like that. You notice I got it going over this wire and under this wire here. Um, so the next thing you do then is take this little piece of aluminum, which I'll show you how I fashioned it. It's a pretty thin piece of aluminum. I put it in a vise and I formed that little hook on the end. That goes over the wire and the bend on the other end goes over the edge of the wood to hold it. So you just put this on here like that. And that holds, that keeps, it keeps the wire. Let's see, I got it backwards. Um, what that does couple of things. First of all, it holds this wire and keeps it from bowing out as you're bending the circle. And then the second thing it does is it gives it a nice smooth surface for the wire to slide up and over this other wire as you're twisting it. So then using this tool here, I insert the hole over the nail. You want the peg on this end so it catches the wire. Um, put, the, put, the, put the nail in the hole. The little peg is going to catch the wire. 
Then you simply twist it around like that and that pulls that wire around the nail and forms a loop. You gotta lift it up so that the, that the peg doesn't catch the back piece of the wire. You wanna go past this piece here a little bit so that it kind of springs back to where you want it. Uh, I need to go maybe just a little bit further there. Sorry if I keep losing the view in the camera there, but that's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. There we go. So now we've got that part bent. The next thing we need to do is we need to flip this over because you see how this wire came up and over this section here. And we want that to, as you're looking at it here, to go under this piece here when we bend this second loop so that uh, this form is consistent. So the best way to do that is just to flip it over in the, in the jig like this and put the uh, put the loops over the uh, other set of nails easier said than done so put that over there this part here isn't terribly critical but uh, there we go so now we've got that and now what we're going to do is bend this one around like this so that it comes back over this so we will again use our little piece of aluminum here to uh, clamp the wire to hold the wire like this and then we'll take our bender and put it over the wire like that and then just simply come around come around one complete turn so that it goes past this other one like that then <clears throat> We'll flip the wire over the other way, or the, the clamp over the other way, like this, and then um, bend the last loop. You gotta kinda hold it here with your thumb because the edge isn't catching there. And then simply finish out that last that last loop like that and there you can see we have it you can slip it off of the form <clears throat> and we have the uh, you have the completed uh, form like that now you can use your uh, pliers at this point your needle nose pliers to do any sort of last minute shaping and uh, getting it exactly the way you want it and just use your nippers and make sure you cut the right part here uh, just cut that loop off and there you go that's your finished finished frame piece hope that was helpful